Hi everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Helen and today I'm gonna to take you through a beginner's yoga sequence. So this is gonna be a really nice sequence for anyone who's kind of new to yoga. It might even be your first time. And if you enjoy this practice, make sure you check out my beginner's playlist, which I'll link down below. So you've got like more variety for your yoga practice. So come find a comfortable seat with me. If it's not comfortable to sit cross-legged, you can always sit on a block or a stack of pillows. Um, and if that still doesn't like, feel comfortable, you can sit some other way. You just wanna be somewhere where you can elongate your spine. Relax your hands onto your knees or your thighs, and then close the eyes. Let's just take a few breaths here just to settle. So really start to feel your sitting bones. Notice how they're balanced on the floor. And as you inhale, see if you can allow your spine to elongate up towards the sky. As you exhale, softening your jaw, relax the shoulders and settle into your seat. Settle into the practice. So before we get moving, let's just take this opportunity in stillness, just to notice how we feel. Noticing physically how we're doing, mentally and emotionally. And just being really aware of that as we move through this practice. So if anything feels too much, be kind to yourself, back off. Otherwise, if you're feeling maybe a bit more energetic, you can always take the poses a little bit stronger. So starting to deepen the breath, breathing in and out of the nose. And as you do this, see if you can send the breath down so we don't just breathe into the top of the lungs. See if you can send the breath down to the belly towards the lower lungs, exhaling out fully. So in and out of the nose. Wonderful, when you're ready, blinking the eyes open. And let's find an all fours position. So hands underneath the shoulders, knees underneath the hips, spread those fingers wide. And let's take a couple of rounds of cat cow. So inhale to drop your belly, tip your tailbone up and look up. And then as you exhale, empty out the air and push your shoulder blades apart. Good, so you inhale, you drop the belly, tailbone up, crown of the head up. Exhale, empty out the lungs and suck your tummy up. Lovely, inhale, dropping the belly. Swaying the heart forwards, feel that front side open. And as you exhale, round it on out. Good, as you inhale, come to a neutral spine now, so not kind of arched either way. And then extend your right leg back, turning the toes out towards the right, reaching that right hand high, coming into a modified plank. So make sure your back leg is strong and engaged and then reach that top hand up and overhead so you feel that nice stretch down the side of your body. Good. If you'd like to take it further, you can lift up that back leg and find a little balance, but it won't be for everyone and that's totally fine. So foot down or foot up, yogi's choice. Take a breath in. And as you exhale, bring that hand down, bring that right knee in. Let's do the opposite side. So extending the left toes back, toes out to the left, left hand up. Find that connection to your core and then reaching the hand up and overhead. So we get that nice stretch all the way down the left hand side this time. Good, maybe going for that little leg lift, finding a little bit of balance, maybe not. Good, take a nice big breath in. Exhale, left hand down, left knee in. Wonderful. From here, let's find our downward facing dog. So spreading the fingers nice and wide, tucking the toes, lifting the seat back and up. Now keep your knees a little bent here so you can find length through the spine. So knees a little bent 
and send your tailbone up towards the ceiling. So imagine your tailbone is like hooking on towards the ceiling. Wonderful. And then maybe we, we can begin to drop one heel, get a little stretch out through the back of the leg, maybe drop the opposite heel and just kind of pedal it out, walking your dog. Wonderful. From here, we're gonna walk the feet towards the hands in as many little steps as we need. So take your time, bend the knees as much as you want. Take your hands just behind your, sorry, your feet <laughs> behind your wrists and then bend your knees a lot and just allow that upper body to hang. Now check in with your head and neck. See if you can let your head go entirely. So it's almost like a little slight tuck of the chin to the chest. And the back of the neck is nice and long. And you can just allow yourself to rock from side to side. Wonderful. And then slowly, slowly rolling up through the spine. So scoop your belly in, tuck your tailbone under and slowly rebuild your spine vertebrae by vertebrae until the head stacks on top. Inhale, reach your hands high overhead. Exhale, hands to heart center. Wonderful. Let's bring the big toes together. Fan out your toes. And then as you inhale, reach your prayer high, look up to the thumbs. And as you exhale, bend the knees and fold yourself in half. Bend the knees as much as you need to. Inhale, hands onto your knees or your shins and find length here. So you're in this little L shape. As you exhale, plant your hands, step your left foot back. Drop that knee, untuck the toe, and then come to a low lunge. So as you inhale, reach the hands up. And as you exhale, relax the shoulders, settle into your hips. So you're stretching out through your left hip flexor, relaxing through those shoulders. Lovely, breathing in. Exhale, hands to heart. Inhale, elongate your spine. So have that idea that you're growing taller. And then as you exhale, draw your navel in and twist towards that right knee, rolling that top shoulder away. Lovely, draw your belly in so you can find more twist through your thoracic spine, so that middle spine. Good, big breath in. Exhale, hands down to the mat. Come back to all fours, tuck your toes, and then find downward facing dog. Good, as you inhale, come forwards to a high plank from your downward facing dog. So I won't keep you here for long, breathe in. Exhale, drop the knees, untuck the toes, slowly lower down with control. Nice, so use those upper back muscles. As you inhale, you're gonna lift your chest, and I want you to use your upper back more than your hands. So we're not just kind of, this and it's not going to be nice for our lower back. We want to energize the, mus the muscles of the back body, broadening through the collarbones. Lovely. As you exhale, lower. Let's do two more like that. Inhale to lift. Exhale to lower. So it's very subtle. One more. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. Good. From here, come back to all fours. Tuck your toes and then refine your downward facing dog. Lovely. As you inhale, bend your knees and look towards your hands. And then as you exhale, step to the top of your mat, feet together. Bend your knees if you need. Inhale, hands onto your knees. Find length through your waist. As you exhale, fold, relax your neck. Inhale, rise up, reach those hands up towards the sky. Exhale, hands to heart center. Wonderful, inhale, reach the prayer high, look to the thumbs, exhale, fold yourself in half. So with control, mindful, considered movements. Good, inhale, hands onto knees or shins for length. Exhale, plant the hand, you're gonna step your right foot back this time. Drop that knee, untuck the toe. And then when you're ready, use your in breath to reach your hands high. So if you're struggling with balance at this point, really connect to your core or take your left foot just further to the left. So the stance is a bit wider and it gives you a little bit more stability. Otherwise, see if we can really get into that hip flexor. Steady breath in and out of the nose, remember. 
Good, breathing in. Exhale, hands to heart. Inhale, elongate the spine. Even if you can't see it, just feel it. And then as you exhale, twisting to the left. So hooking your elbow onto the outside of that knee, finding that rotation through the spine. Now, keep connected to the core because every time you draw your navel in, you might find you can twist a little bit more. Good, one more breath here. As you exhale, hands to mat. Come back to all fours. Tuck your toes, downward facing dog. Good, from your downward facing dog, inhale, bend the knees and look forwards. As you exhale, step to the top of your mat, feet together. Inhale, halfway lift. And as you exhale, fold, relax your neck. Inhale, rise up. So breathe into the top. Breathe in, breathe in, breathe in. Palms touch. Exhale, hands to heart center. Wonderful. From here, make sure your feet are together so your big toes are touching. And then as you inhale, you're going to reach your hands up and sink your bum into a chair pose or utkatasana. So a little bit of housekeeping. Make sure you can see your big toe. So if you can't, send your bum further back. And then really connect to your core here. So we don't want to be arching the lower back. So my core's like disengaged here and my lower back arches. We want to draw the navel in, connect to that core. And that's going to look after the lower back. I know it's quite intense. Hands together at heart center. As you inhale, you're going to bring your right knee in towards the chest. Straighten your standing leg. Coming into a balance here. So extending that right leg out behind you. Considered movement. Don't worry if you're wobbling and stuff. It's all good. Move nice and slow. And connect to your center. Everything happens from your center and it will be nice and controlled and mindful. Good. Slowly bending into your standing leg. Drop those back toes behind you. Very nice. Breathe in. Reach the hands high. As you breathe out, hands come down to the mat and you're going to step straight back to downward facing dog this time. So draw your belly in, step back to your downward facing dog. Wonderful. Inhale, forwards to a high plank. Exhale, lower the knees, untuck the toes, come down with control, elbows, brush your ribs. So keep those elbows tucked in. Inhale to lift the chest, use the upper back. Exhale to lower. Two more, inhale to find lift. Exhale, lower. One more, inhale. Exhale, lower. Good, coming back through all fours, tuck toes, downward facing dog, wonderful. Inhale, bend the knees, look forwards. Exhale, step or jump to the top, toes touch. Inhale, halfway lift, squeezing those shoulder blades together. Exhale, fold, relax your neck. Inhale, rise all the way up, palms touch at the top. Exhale, hands to your heart, wonderful. Back into that chair pose, feet together. Inhale, reaching the hands up, sinking the bum low. So second time, see if you can connect with that core. Weight is in your heels and we're squeezing those knees together. So even though it doesn't look that hard, <laughs> we all know that this pose is actually really hard. <laughs> so hands together at heart center, press to your midline, ground through your right foot, and then bring that left knee up. Good, and then extend it back into your warrior three. Good, keep that breath flowing. I know it's tempting to hold the breath when we come to balance. Good, and then bending into your standing leg, drop those back toes behind you. Good, on an in-breath, reach the hands high. On an out-breath, hands come down and step it back to a downward facing dog with control. Good, we'll all meet back in our downward facing dog. Inhale, forwards to your high plank. And as you exhale, lower the knees, lower all the way down with control. And then three lifts here. So inhale, lift the chest, maybe using the hands just a touch. Exhale, lower. Inhale, lift. 
exhale lower inhale to lift exhale lower good coming back through all fours tuck toes find downward facing dog Wonderful. From here, you're going to take your feet a bit wider, so turn your big toes out. And then you're going to walk your hands back towards your feet, bend your knees into a squat position. So into our yogi squat. But if you're quite tight through the groin or your heels don't touch the floor, don't worry. Keep your hands on the floor and just take a little movement from side to side. Wonderful. From here, we're going to come down to sit onto our bum. So bring the hands behind and lengthen the legs out in front. You can give them a little shake after that if they need. Good, from here, bring your right knee in towards the chest and then let it drop out towards the side. So the sole of the foot is somewhere down that inner leg. If your knee's up quite high, I would recommend grabbing a block and just propping yourself up here so you've got support through that knee. Engage through this leg, so toes pull back. Inhale, reach on up. Exhale, folding forward. So keeping the back nice and long. So rather than overreaching for our feet, maybe we just reach for our knee. So the spine is long and we feel that lovely stretch down the back of the straightened leg. Using the breath here, inhale, lift out through the waist. Exhale to fold. Good, one more breath here. Exhale, keep that foot engaged. Good, inhale, picking yourself back up, bringing this knee back in, and then step it over. You wanna keep this knee nice and close, and you can even use it to lift out of your waist, so just notice if you're kind of like this. We want really alert spine. Inhale, reach your hands high. And then as you exhale, take a little twist to your right. So elbow comes onto the outside of that knee. Now make sure your core is engaged here and we're not just kind of cranking ourselves around with this elbow. You wanna make sure the muscles around uh, your spine are actually working. And because they're working, they're getting stronger, which is gonna be awesome to for, for looking after our spine. Lovely, one more breath. Exhale, unwind, come to face forward, and let's do the same on the opposite side. So extending that right leg out, left knee in, let it butterfly out, prop up if you need. Straighten leg, we're engaging through that foot, reach, reach, reach up. And then as you exhale, move forward. So keeping the back straight. So if we're like this, this is not quite the pose. We wanna keep the spine and the waist nice and long. So you can use a strap here around the foot and stuff if you want, but rather than have lots of props to hand, we'll just do, we'll do no props today. So you can grab your knee or onto your calf. And then check in with your breathing, breathing in through the nose, find length and space. Every exhale, folding maybe a little bit more, maybe not. Lovely, one more breath here. Exhale. Inhale, picking yourself back up. We're gonna bring this knee in towards the chest, step it on over. Again, sit up nice and tall, so you can even use this shin to like lift you up. Reach on up, sit tall, and then as you exhale, twisting to your left this time. So hooking that elbow around, and just go as far as feels good. You don't want to um, find anything that feels like it could be injurious. So go to like a seven or eight out of 10 intensity. Every inhale, sit tall. Every exhale, maybe we move into the twist a bit more, maybe not. Good, breathing in. Exhale, unwind, come to face forwards. Step this leg out in front, give the legs a shake if they need. And then from here, we're gonna roll down onto our back. So make sure you've got enough mat behind you. Feet flat on the mat, arms out in front, breathe in. And then as you exhale, slowly curl through the spine. So slowly, slowly place one 
vertebrae down at a time. Really nice considered movement. Good, when you arrive, bring your feet a little closer so you can brush your heel with your fingers. You want your toes pointing directly forwards. And then as you inhale, press into hands, press into feet, lift in the bum, lift the chest into a bridge pose. You can keep your hands like this or interlace the fingers behind. Nudge your shoulders underneath you and squeeze the shoulder blades together. So those muscles that we engage when we were flowing on our front, those are the muscles that um, you need to engage for bridge pose as well. So really good for your posture. Really dig down through your feet. So find that heel bone, inhale. Good, and then as you exhale, slowly lower down with control. Nice and slow and considered. Well done. Take a little swipe of the knees from side to side, side to side. And then hug the knees in towards the chest. Well done. Let's take some circles with the knees just to massage into the back. And circle the opposite way. We're going to take a few moments of stillness together. So you can have your legs out long, you can have your feet flat, maybe the soles of the feet together, totally up to you. Get comfy though. Relax your hands onto the front of your body. Close your eyes. Breathe in. And sigh out. <sighs> and just notice how your body feels after that flow. Maybe we've awaken something or uncovered something. Strength or space that you didn't even know you had. And it's different every single time we step onto the yoga mat. It's what keeps us coming back time and time again. So you're so welcome to lie back. Just let this video end, take a shavasana, that final relaxation. I have lots of guided ones if you fancy. <laughs> Otherwise, slowly bring the knees to the chest, give yourself a hug, and then take your time to find a comfortable seat. Keeping the eyes closed. Inhale to sit tall. Exhale to find softness and ease. Notice how you're breathing now. Notice how you're feeling now. And then bringing the hands together at heart center, bowing the head towards your heart, really thank yourself for carving out this time today to look after both your body and your mind. Blinking the eyes open. Thank you so, so much for sharing this practice with me today. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please do give it a thumbs up. Please check out my beginners playlist. And also I have uh, a playlist on yoga pose tutorials. So if there are any poses in here that you weren't sure on, we maybe didn't have enough time to go through, please do check it out. We've got downward dog, we've got plank, we've got forward fold, we've got all of the poses. So make sure you check that out. I hope you have a wonderful rest of the day, whatever you're up to, and hopefully see you again soon. Bye.